Um, I'm really passionate about poetry and it definitely remains my first love um, because I see it as a means of communication and definitely a medium for personal opinions as well. Um, but poetry is definitely not easy and it does require persistence, innovation and luck. Um, but unfortunately it's often perceived as boring, incomprehensible and elitist. Um, but poetry is all around us. I mean, it's in song lyrics. Um, and as young poet laureate, I'm definitely working to dissolve the myth around poetry. Um, I find that there's something very satisfying in stringing together words to viscerally affect oneself and others around. Um, so today I'd like to read two of my poems. The first one is called Chameleon, and it discusses my experiences um, juggling my heritage and the culture around me. So here's Chameleon. No matter where I belong, traipsing through different quarters in my town is like a portal to a parallel universe. My legs are almost like an aeroplane landing effortlessly across alien climbs into each house where space changes as does colour. My eyes serve as my kaleidoscope, interpreting a similar situation to perspectives so varied yet all so similar. My tongue, a tapestry of flavours like a crayon melting over a candle, leaving a taste of namelessness in the mouth. My lips, like tangerines, soak in the poetry of each language I hear, one word in, another out. My nose breathes in the aroma of the best Sunday roasts and traditional spices in home cooking. My hands need the same lump of dough, puff pastry in school, naan bread at home. No matter what food I eat, or clothes I wear, culture and religion I practice, my conscience abides, unable to alter. In this algorithm of variables, my soul remains the only constant. Some call it change, I call it adaptation. My second poem is about the duality of youth, um, the pangs that come with it, as well as the excitement of this new journey. So here's youth. Youth is remembering that kindergarten crayon river and wondering when it all began to turn to mud. Learning that the sky isn't always blue or confined to the unreachable heights of sugar paper. That, like stars, goodness is not always visible but will make itself known when all else is dark. Youth is being free in a way, yet constrained in another. Like frolicking carefree in an open garden, but suddenly cuffed on discovering a sign. Keep off the grass. Youth is the incubation of rage curled in your belly, of too many barriers, yet so many possibilities. It's making a guess whilst knowing an answer. It's pretending to be and being to pretend. It's pressing your nose against a mirror, knowing that the distant future looking you will soon be exiled from comfort. It's lilting within infinite dreams, but not being able to fulfill them. It's drowning in fear, of impending dangers, yet 
swimming in hope. Thank you, Ayanna. Those are two really, really beautiful poems, and we're really pleased that you could join us today. Another round of applause, please.